Okay, so um, uh, somebody take me through making a random line here real quick. Um, so we uh, we uh, uh, add stored or default data. Okay, and then um, we simply uh, I'll just uh, rotate this. I'll hit escape and. Rotate this up, and um, and then hit escape again, and it's selected. So I just reposition these uh, these these handles here. That's all I have to do. Looks like, and I've got, you know, the indication of of at least some version of the dip at a deeper level down here. So maybe that's about right, and we'll just uh, tilt back uh, onto there. And um, okay, so I will um, now. Now here's some um, uh, a word of a word of advice. Um, whenever you add something, save your um, your session. I didn't get a chance to do that before Open to Tech crashed last time, so I had to start with a blank slate, um, and now I have a I have some sessions saved that um, uh, that that include the uh, um, the lower degree of uh, of um, uh, vertical exaggeration uh, and. Um, and the surfaces that I've uh, put in to view the uh, um, uh, to view the the data with, and I'll I'll keep updating this tutorial two session um, session, um, and the uh, the session um, let's see. Um, Let's see. You can export horizons and pick sets um, and all kinds of things, but you cannot export sessions. So, um, but you can copy sessions from one place to another. You you find out where it is in in someone's uh, Open Detect um, folder. Um, so let's uh, let's go to an open detect to my open detect folder, and um, OD, my OD data folder, excuse me. And in there is my um, F3 demo 2016, and down in and and here's all the parts of that, and then way down in here somewhere. Um, Not seeing uh, sessions. Let's see. So where are the sessions? Are they under miscellaneous? Uh, yes. So you can grab this. Um, it's a small ten kilobyte file out of the um, uh, out of the uh, uh, out of the miscellaneous folder, and you can put it in a somebody else's miscellaneous folder or. Uh, take it from me and and put it into your own, and then um, that will restore the the session. Um, so because uh, 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 I believe, and, and let's see if I just uh, put this into text edit. Yeah, it's just a bunch of text, a bunch of parameters. So no problem, uh, you know, going from Mac to PC or anything like that. Um, all right, and and it turns out everything else that we export, um, you know, you can export uh, faults, which we won't do now. Um, you can export horizons again, which we won't do right now because I want to get you. Um, well, actually, we'll we will uh, try exporting a picking a couple of horizons in two D, and. Um, uh, 
and we'll try making some uh, pick sets. And so those can be exported into ASCII text as well. Um, and, and they should be importable by anyone else uh, who's looking at the same data set. So uh, uh, let's, um, let's try to pick some terminations on this, um, um, on this data set. And I think I will uh, uh, focus in on this on this random line. So this pretty much crosses uh, uh, the whole area that uh, you guys are 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 uh, looking at. Um, we haven't made a proper structural interpretation yet, so we're going to have to guess our way across this uh, this fault that appears in there. Um, you know, we're not doing a tutorial on um, on uh, structural interpretation yet. Um, so um, I think uh, uh, you know, let's let's on this on this random line, which actually cuts across all three uh, inlines that that I want all that I want each uh, the different groups to be analyzing. Um, uh, so I'm going to try to, you know, I'm sort of going to be fair to uh, uh, each group here because I'm going to actually pick a, um, uh, I'm going to make picks on, on I think, all three groups' uh, areas, but uh, I'm not going to pick your, any, any one group's whole section, okay? Uh, and we're just going to focus here on, um, on doing, uh, uh, looking for one uh, you know, two. Um, we're going to focus here on two um, um, sequence boundaries, and one, um, and therefore one sequence. Uh, and then, uh, uh, hopefully, you'll you'll be able to. Uh, well, the the whole idea here is is that um, shows you exactly what I want you to do, each team to do on your section. Um, and uh, and show us uh, next week. Um, so um, uh, there's a pretty clear uh, sequence here, I think, um, and that's uh, that's this one with the uh, um, with the the progradational um, clinoforms in here. You know these inclined um, parasequence boundaries that are, uh, 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 you know, all part of one, uh, one or maybe more sequence. You know, that's that sequences. That's part of the interpretation we need to make here. Um, and so, you know, I'm just going to focus uh, right on the low hanging fruit. Fruit, and you will in your um, inline, you will see. Uh, similar low-hanging fruit. Um, so let's try to uh, work our way through these most obvious clinoforms here. Um, and first, we're going to pick some terminations where they are totally obvious, um, and then we're going to we're going to pick. Um, uh, uh, and then we're going to we're we're going to try to use those uh, pick terminations to identify the the sequence boundaries. Um, so we have uh, four ty four types of terminations, and so that means uh, the terminations I'm going to put in here as picks, and that means uh, uh, that um, um, that. Uh, uh, um, I'm gonna, um, uh, yeah. I'm gonna um, be uh, uh, okay. So we're not going to use any of the pick sets that are available here. So that means we need a new pick set. So um, uh, how many different kinds of terminations are there? Yeah. So, uh, um, but if you uh, if you if you don't know 
whether a whether it's a down lap or on lap, then you pick it as base lap, right? So uh, uh, maybe there are five. Um, I think in here we might be lucky enough that that we can um, uh, we can pick the uh, <clears throat> we can pick the 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 uh, only four types of terminations. We're not going to have to use the base lap uh, terminology. But we'll see. We may we may have to add, you know, and delete, uh, you know, if we interpret something as uh, as on lap, and later on we can't decide if it's on lap or base lap, we might have to uh, uh, change our mind. Um, okay. So uh, 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 let's see. Uh, I will create uh, four new pick sets then. And here's where it gets tricky, you know, because my my most my most common um, problem with uh, um, with these pick sets uh, and, and manipulating them and picking them is is that I won't have pointed in the in the tree in the element list. I won't have pointed to the right one, and I'll be you know redoing my views and trying to make a new pick, and I'll make a new pick, and I'll realize oh. That's on, you know, that's on the wrong pick set, and uh, and then I have to try to delete it, and you know, you can uh, spend way too much time doing that sort of thing. Let's see, and I think I want some pretty well, yeah, maybe their suggestion for colors is not not bad here. I, each of the four types of of terminations is going to have a um, a different. Uh, a different color, and maybe these these pastel colors are okay. Um, so um, let's see. We'll start with the um, the uh, base lap. So there's um, on lap uh, is going to be this uh, brown color, and then I'm going to establish another new empty pick set, which is uh, yeah, that's good. Um, although that might get lost. Let's see. Let's look for, yeah, why not that one? Uh, light brown. Um, so that's uh, uh, down lap. Okay, so those are the two base, base laps. Um, wait, no, down lap is a, is, um, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The base lap is down lap. Sorry. Right. So uh, now, um, now we have uh, top lap and wait a minute. What are they? Right. Off lap and top lap. Okay. And and which one is is erosional? Is that the um, uh, so uh, um, right? So top lap and off lap are the two um, two sequence top ones, right? And I think top lap is uh, is erosional, or can be erosional. So we'll call that. Uh, let's see, royal blue. Uh, let's, uh, yeah. So we'll call that uh, top lap. And then we'll add another one. New empty. Um, and lime green. Yeah, that's. It's going to be good. OK. Not too much green in the section itself. And so that's uh, off lap. So the key here is, is remembering a couple of things, right? Because notice the, this cursor I've got. Um, if I. Um, uh, so if I click in here, 
uh, I'm going to put in an offlap pick. Um, and uh, if I if I'm just trying to you know move the section around, I got to remember to come over here and change it to uh, out of editing and to the hand, and then I can you know I can move things around. Um, and also, I gotta I gotta remember what I got selected here. You know, am I doing off lap or top lap or down lap? Um, so let's uh, you know let's go right into the um, um, uh, the the most prominent um, the most prominent uh, clinoforms. And uh, let's I I think it'll be easy to see some down lap. So could anybody, everybody see that? That looks like a downlap termination to me. Any, any comments on that? I don't know if you can see the cursor. Yeah. All right. So I'll click, and there's a little dot. All right, that's not too hard to see. And the next one. Um, and looks like one. Now notice I'm picking on the on the reds, which are the negatives. Yeah. Well, you know, because one reflection here, or if you if you associate each reflection with a pair of sequence boundary, one reflection is going to be um, uh, is going to have a a it's going to be centered on. The positives or the negatives. We, I think, for this this data set, it's centered on the negatives, and then it's going to have these positive side lines. So, if we were to pick the the ends of the reds and the ends of the blues, we kind of be picking two, um, you know, we'd kind of be picking two truncations for uh, per uh, uh, per reflection. Now, actually, given what we're doing, there's nothing wrong with that. But uh, it is maybe a little bit too much work. Um, because we want to make a pick on the strongest on the strongest reflections on the strongest data. Right. Right. I think, uh, for instance. Um, uh, down here at the very bottom, if you can see it, I think that's the that might be the top of the salt, and that's uh, red in the center, strong red in the center. So that means that you know that normal interface to something harder, top of the salt, bottom of the basin, sea floor, you know that normal interface is um, um, is. Uh, 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 It is uh, um, red at the center. Okay, so that's why I'm picking the red, you know, until further notice. So maybe there, and I'm not quite sure what happens after that. Uh, and well, and we may be in the fault here, uh, so that is a factor. So I'm going to continue. Down to here, and again, it, you know, I'm essentially by making these termination picks, I'm interpreting where um, the sequence boundary is, and that's a hypothesis. Um, okay, so uh, let's see. Um, Yeah, we don't want to do any of those. Um, yeah, so if I if I hit, I'm pointing at it. If I hit delete, nope, it's still there. I'll try it again. <laughs> nope. Uh, I'll do a control pick, a control tap. Nope. Yeah, let's uh, let's try uh, 
let's see. Oh, notice notice that I, I now I don't have the uh, the the downlap um, picked or, or selected anymore in the tree. Um, so now now I've got my cursor back. That's how I can tell that I'm there. So it knows it knows it's at the um, it knows it's it's at a pick right now. Um, I'll try uh, option click. No. How about command click? No. Oh, command click deleted it on the Mac. So maybe uh, um, maybe would control click do it on the uh, on the PC maybe. Fantastic, yeah. Because it knows. See here, it's if you look at the bottom of, the, of my screen, it's showing you the value, the the coordinates, and all that stuff. Um, but when I point at the pick, it suddenly says, "Oh, you're on a pick set," and it, so it knows when I'm pointing at a pick. See here, it knows I'm I'm pointing at the random line, and I get on the pick. Oh, I'm on a pick. Because he's you know. I can I cannot show the uh, uh, I cannot show the the um, the uh, 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 like if I uncheck the uh, the random line I'm picking along a random line as it would turn out and I've I've now turned off in the tree I've turned off the uh, random line and these um, these picks are just floating in free space now they'll stay there. That's fine. Uh, I'll turn the random line back on. Okay, um, and I'm still, I'm still got the downlap selected, and I want to do some more picks. There's one, uh, and now I want to move around. I want to drag the view, so I got to hit escape and then hold down shift and drag the view. To the left, because I think I see more downlap. You know, I could be getting into another sequence, but we'll 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 figure that out. So I'll keep um, um, uh, in terms of the movie we were watching uh, today. You know, what I'm tr really trying to pick is the sequence boundary at the um, at the. Uh, um, uh, uh, at, at the top of the sequence boundary, and this sequence boundary is a um, it's a flooding surface. I mean, it's a very major flooding surface in this data set. Um, you know that the uh, sea level went way up, and and it had to uh, prograde uh, way back into here. Okay, so now I've got downlap still selected. I will um, I will uh, uh, un. Uh, I, I will go back to picking, and I've got my picking cursor back. Um, starting to wonder, maybe the termination isn't till here, and there, and there, and you know, as we're getting away from the progradational part, they're becoming further and further apart. Um, and uh, I need to move again. And now I'm on the. Am I on the oh yeah. And go back to edit. Um, and I am. Yeah, I think that's it. I can't. I can't pick any more. Um, any more downlap because this thing that used to be far above is now pretty much parallel. Okay, so let's um, escape and and move back over to the right side and look at at least what's obvious. And I think there's a few more that are obvious. Okay. <laughs> So uh, you know, there's the the a little bit of confusion caused by that fault. We'll just have to do our best since we don't have 
and we haven't really characterized that fault yet. Um, and uh, uh, yeah, I'll call that downlap. And yeah, no more downlap. Maybe some onlap. All right, so let's, um, uh, at, at least that's a possible interpretation. Okay, so uh, let me select onlap. And now, for instance, I'll pick that as onlap. And that one, and that one, and that one, and that one, and that's the right edge of the data set. So, so that's uh, yeah, the pinker ones are the salmon color in here. That's on lap, and the. Uh, uh, and the the bright yellow is is uh, down lap. Can you change the um, uplines to like different color? I can't see. You can like barely see them. Oh yeah, <laughs> right. That's a screen calibration problem. Yeah. Right. So right. we can, we can do that first now. First, because I don't want to make any more on lap picks right now, I'm gonna immediately go out of editing. So that when I, you know, when I click on the section, I don't get, I don't have to then remove that point that maybe I can't even see, right? <laughs> let's see. So let's let's see here. Um, when I finally, when I change the color, you'll hopefully see it better. Uh, let's see. Display. Uh, properties. Of the onlap picks, yes. There's the color. Um, so uh, I wanted something yellowy. Uh, let's see if that's is that better. Yeah, that's better. I don't. I can barely see the difference, but but I think you can at least see where I picked. So so what I was picking um, was the. Um, uh, what I was picking was the okay. The 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 negative is is yellow. The positive is like whitish blue. Um, so I was picking the landward end of the um, uh, the landward end of the um, of the yellow. This one goes a little bit red, but not much. Yeah. So there's a couple of a couple of the onlap picks, you know, which are not perfectly located, but um, you know, again, it's an interpretation. So you know. Perfection is not uh, is not needed here. Um, yes. So so now we we've, we've done some work. Let's uh, let's save the picks, right? So um, the uh, uh, we picked a lot of downlap, and I will save that. And we picked a lot of onlap, or some a few onlaps, and I'll right click and uh, and save that, and then I will also under survey session save. Um, uh, yep. Uh, because uh, saving the session doesn't. Uh, no, I'd have to look at the manuals, but. I, I remember saving the session, not saving the picks. So uh, just save everything, you know. Um, uh, the other thing you can do, I didn't have to save individual ones. I could have right-clicked on pick sets 
and just done save changes. Okay, so you can hit all all the all the uh, all the picks at once. Uh, all right, so let's go for some um, let's go for some some uh, top lap. You know, let's is there evidence of erosion in here? Uh, and I thought I saw some uh, right up in here. Is that what you're looking at? Or is it over here? Like right like there. I think there's a truncation or the one that curled over. The ones that curl over. Yeah, right? Right there is a good top lap. Well, I think off lap is like the gentle one, you know, kind of emerges out of the top and yeah, like goes it down. Yeah, like pinches upward onto the trunk. Like pinches upward. I mean, it's still a termination, but but a a, uh, a, 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 a an angular unconformity would be would be top lap. Do I have that right? Yes. Okay. So if in our bowl area, oh, I wish we had more time. Yeah, I, 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 I like yours. How do you see the right, like right, there? Right, on the same horizon. Like up here. Right. It's hard to tell your little band. Here. Yeah. Over to the right some more. Three cards. So those areas right there. Oh, I'm feeling good. Right. Yeah, right. right. I like my pink of the combo. So now, now one, thing, one thing you'll see. Notice that there are some sort of vertical stripes. There's a vertical stripiness here, mm -hmm. and that that is the chimneys that the gas is coming up along the faults and along fracture zones. We have to ignore those in our in our structural interp in our stratigraphic interpretation here. They're part of the structural interpretation. They're part of the reservoir interpretation. Um, so we have to uh, you know we might we might wonder you know are we looking at a Fault offset in here. That's certainly possible, um, and um, and actually, uh, uh, okay, we can back out and uh, oops, turn the uh, the volume on its side. And um, actually, I can't go all the way just yet. I'll edit. I'll grab the uh, you know make. As Brown suggests, make good use of your um, of your uh, uh, horizontal sections, and let's look at a horizontal section and see if we think there is a fault there. Um, and looks like there is, but let me get to the right spot. Can you in the middle? I crashed again. Oh man. Yeah, there's definitely a fault in here, but but I can't I can't establish. Yeah, maybe coming along in this area, uh, but it's certain it's not obvious because the fault is the strike of the fault is parallel to the strike of the of the stratigraphy. So we're 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 kind of hosed there. We have to look in in the vertical section. Now, in your in your uh, particular uh, uh, in line that your team is doing, you might, uh, you hopefully, uh, uh, well, you might not suffer from that so much. Uh, oh, I really need to lower that horizontal section, get it out of the way. <coughs> Okay. All right. 
So um, I'm not sure I can I can definitively. Uh, so the top lap is I think it's fairly rare in this data set, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go out on a limb, and I'll put a top lap there, and there. Can you guys see it? I can't see it on the screen. Up in here? Yeah. These terminations up here? So you're marking, so are you marking the yellow again? Uh, at the end of the yellow from, from underneath. Um, let me change the color. Oh, let's go with spring green. Oh, you could see that maybe. So what do you guys think? You have a, you have your own you have your own uh, hypotheses, huh? All right. So top lap is the one that shows you know ravinement that shows erosion, and and those are two places I'll propose that I, I could try marking that. Um, and I'm you know maybe I'm not in the same uh, in the same sequence here. Um, let's see. Let's look at the one we were we were focused on. Uh, maybe over here on the. On the left, and um, where where are you looking? Right here. So it's kind of it. This is maybe the top of the sequence, and it rolls off down to there. So would, that, would you call that would you call that off lap? I mean, the sort of this this vertical stripe here, right? It's kind of this vertical stripes that are that are kind of interfering in that. So uh, I'll say it's it's a very smooth it's very smoothly coming in. Oh, I I I mean uh, what I'm hoping is is that you know I gave each each team a range, <laughs> and I want you to find. What you, what you think is the easiest to interpret in line within there, but I'm I'm hoping you could do it all at one in line. Oh, so not like scoot it back a couple, just a couple lines, scoot it forward, but it's oh. clear. Just, oh, right, right. Problem. Because then then it would be really hard to print that out as as a poster with everything on it. Oh. Right. So you want to do everything on one section. I guess if you if you really had to use a, a random line, you know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could make picks, right? And then you could you could look at your section, and the picks would be floating in front of it, right? And and maybe those picks you made off your line would help you make picks on your line. That's certainly one way to to do it. You know, taking some advantage of the. Uh... Okay, so. I'm going to call this truncation off lap. And I'm going to call this one. Um, I'm going to call this one top lap, right there. And I can't see the distinction between off lap and top lap, so I'm going to go the. So uh, here's the best diagram. Ah, who do that with? Have to be there. Now that's where they all sort of just sort of pinch together. I would call that off flat. Okay. All right. Now then, then, then imagine that we. Uh, uh, 
that you got you got ravinement and you eroded that that away, right? And so so you'd see another reflector in here, and and these would be uh, would be top lap. Because they're truncated. Because they're okay. truncated. Right. Okay. Right. I'm Yeah. <laughs> uh, Will you allow me to uh, to have my beer? Absolutely. Wow. I would even go right there, grab a fresh one since they're in my office. <laughs> 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 one's going to be enough. Keep the. Keep the yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so okay. So which ones show show uh, show uh, 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 ravine? Well, that's the critical thing. So the so your your cyan ones there are the are the ravines. Is the off lap up here the Yeah. Oh, I agree with that. Yeah, I like that. And then these ones are the top left that are kind of primarily Yeah, right. Reflection across the entire So I looked at your online down. The down I have no idea the down left is the right. So your ravines like this? Uh, yeah, I I I was looking more at that would be like down uh, yeah, right. down a little right. bit above. Yeah. I was looking a little bit above, and, and so it's sort of obvious down laps, just yeah. just one cycle above. And the on and the on lap up here. Yeah, you, you picked maybe more than I did, but but not bad. I know we're doing good yeah, this team. Come to the middle. Yeah. I've crashed too much. Cool. Okay, I can see what you're doing. Come on, yeah. come on. Uh, I guess I'm going to flip. Yeah, I would we'll call it off left. It seems to be switching your mouse. Right here. Changing colors. Yeah, I mean it's great. This is why you're a captain. Okay. Okay. Sure. Sure. I thought I was going to tell you. Man, all I have is. I got, I got no arguments with okay. your down laps. Yeah. 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 Well, he, you know, so he boldly made a, a, a hypothesis, and you know, and we're going to discuss it next week. Can you save it? You save it? Right click on the piece. Yeah, yeah. Top of the tree. Top of the tree. Yeah. Yes, you can. You start that. How can you be a leader if you don't take good advice? Yes. Listed man on the low Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. So I see how that could be sort of truncated, but it's it's coming in very smoothly. Or if you said, you know, maybe you would say, all right, oh, the that was a trash. Yeah. 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 As a, as a top lap, but if you thought, oh, maybe I really can follow right up and into that one, well, that would be an off lap. So you got to decide which way, which way you're going to figure out what line you go on. That's actually what the next thing is. Yeah, it smoothly pitches into the top. Where on that random one, if that's on the right area. Let's work on our actual line. So, I think I found the top lap. Yeah. Yeah. Switch to almost uh, to, 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 to There you go. And then hold down the shift and, and drag. Yeah. Now you might be something wrong. Yeah, 
Yes. No, I just kind of did you. Now yeah. I'm picking it up. It's just kind of direct. Yeah, so now mm -hmm. if you, right, no pick sets are, are highlighted. So there you go. Yeah, Three now you've got it. We are in line of six. So you can, you know, it comes in a way. I'm going to check that in line to start to do that. Right, and then you can, uh, so you can leave sections positioned <laughs> wherever, wherever you need them. Yeah. Right, so you can no, easily, so like next, yeah, yeah, next week you can just turn the sections on and off. Say, okay, look back here. You know, you'll be going too fast. We'll have to, we'll have to stop you. Yeah. Just keep <laughs> following the process. So now I don't think that's going So what we should be able to do is then you come out to where you step in, right there. So that's that's six hundred.
I'm going to step to everyone and well, they agree. Yeah, they're on the truck. Okay, so I'll see you guys. Okay, so I'm going to pick some more top lap. Um, So here's a here's a nice off lap in bright red. You know, this one is kind of worming around in here and then it comes up and it really merges with with this one, you know, maybe there. So that's a that's an example of off lap. So I think now I gotta I gotta save my uh, pick sets, save changes, and um, uh, the next thing I want to try to uh, to pick is a is a horizon, which would be the uh, uh, I think I think I think in a short time I can I can probably pick the uh, uh, the bottom of this sequence we've been we've been focusing on here. Um, so uh, uh, and I got to start at the the, pro the trouble with with picking a horizon is you kind of want to um, you don't want to um, be uh, you know picking in the middle and then at the ends and you know maybe maybe you'd like to be more um, uh, you know, more consistent. Um, so, so the the actual sequence boundary is, um, is the bottom sequence of the sequence is below the um, uh, is below the uh, um, the terminations. And um, I'm actually, you know, I'm trying to make myself comfortable with the idea that that it's kind of the sequence boundary itself is kind of it's the blue in between the reflections. I, I, I think I'm I'm coming around to that idea. Um, Um, you mean um, um, yeah I want I want I want draw draw a line that that is the sequence boundary yeah, no, I understand that for the horizon. I mean, for the picking of the points that are like on lap and top lap that's just to identify where those are that's you know I that's that's a pick of the termination itself okay and you know if you were doing this all in black and white on paper you would draw little arrows but that's not Kind of hard to do here, actually. Although the probably probably there's a way. You know. um, so uh, um, yeah, you know, it's right below it's right below this. So so really, I'm just going to follow that reflection, even though I'm on a little a, a positive one, right? I'm going to try to follow it. Now I could be, you know. Maybe maybe the sequence well, the sequence boundary really is a reflection, 
and maybe I should make it, you know, the next red down. But that's going to change. You know, you, I think the idea that that you're seeing here is that the it always is a reflection between between um, you know one sequence at, at a sequence boundary. That is a reflection, um, but the character of the reflection changes as you have different facies above and below. And I, I think we're seeing that quite obviously on this prominent sequence boundary. So, yeah, so I'm going to pick the blue just because that's where I'm picking this particular. I'm going to start with the blue, and then I'm going to try to follow it you know, all the way through. But it wouldn't be horribly inconsistent with this idea that the character of the reflection changes, if you know halfway down, I I I switch from from uh, from blue to red, you know. Now now you know what we're going to ask you is okay. Did you do that just because, or 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 are you identifying, you know, that the reflection character of the sequence changes? So you can switch as many times as you want as long as you come up with some. You know, explanation, justification. That'd be a species change. Basically. Yeah, same yeah. Shale, you know, this sequence boundary looks different where we have where it, there's onlap uh, at the top of it, than where there's downlap at the top of it. Right, right, right. So, so for instance, you know, the sequence boundary may change because the shale is only in the more distal part. Now, now let's just let's just make sure everybody understands what's the direction of the sediment source here. Is the sediment source off to the left or off to the right? Uh, yes. Okay. Just want to make sure there's no misunderstanding. I'm sorry we lost a couple people. So enlighten them too. Um, just, just check, you know. All right. So uh, let's see if I can figure out. Let's see. I, I have saved my changes to my picks. I'm going to go ahead and save my session. Um, and um, so now I'm going to I'm going to try to put in a two D horizon. Um, and so what can I do when I say, oh no. Okay, so horizons are only for um, only for picking, uh, only for automatic picking. So that's what you're, I mean, you know, when you really do this, you, you want to be picking horizons in, in 3D. Okay, for the project, you know, since we're only going so far and only on one inline, I'm going to ask you to draw a polygon. Okay. And uh, uh, so uh, we're going to put in a new polygon. Um, if I get some bright color, oh, that's probably not going to work. Let's go with some flaming magenta or something. So this is going to be, um, uh, we'll call it SB1. Um, now, do you guys have an interpretation now? The bottom of the sequence that we've been picking the terminations of, um, do you think it's a type 1 or type 2? That is type 2. And is it Roman numeral two or Arabic two? Thank you. All right. So uh, uh, I'm calling this sequence boundary one. It's not, you know, I'm not obviously not putting anything in, in any proper order, <laughs> but I'm going to identify it as being, you know, again hypothesis. You know, if I if 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 I want to change the type, I'll just change the name. All right. 
so let's see if I can if I can manage to put this uh, uh, this polygon in here, and I just you know I'll try to pick it at only as many places as I absolutely have to to uh, you know to make it kind of follow the, this reflection. It's. It, I don't. I. I'm hoping it's not auto tracking. It is. Well, I mean, it is as far as you click. So, oh, Because I'm just. I'm just drawing in a polygon. Okay. So, okay. I'm. I'm doing all the following of the. You know, I'm manually following the reflection. Okay. I don't know what you're doing, but you're just... Nice. Well, that's the real thing to do. <laughs> All right, so now going back into editing, let's see if it adds it in the right place. Yes, it did. There's a little little bit of problems going across these faults and I'm just going to kind of wing it. Okay, so I, I, I'm interpreting that there's some fault faulting I'm going across here. It is kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. You just you point at it and you you do a, a on the Mac you do a command click. I wonder if that works with uh, with this. Yes, it worked even with the polygon. So by following the reflection, you know, even way beyond where I have any terminations, I'm, uh, you know, which is what the automatic uh, uh, picker is going to do too. Um, I'm going from you know end to end throughout the uh, the section. <clears throat> so uh, then I need to uh, save changes, and I need to. Um, I need to save my session. So we all found um, ravinement, and and we all found top lap. So we can also draw in a type one boundary at the top of this sequence. Um, so let's uh, let's figure out how to do that. We don't. Let's see.
And again, I think it looks like I'm going to want to pick a um, uh, I'm going to want to pick a, a a blue reflector as my um, as my uh, uh, my boundary. So I'm going to. Yeah, you know, I'm just going a little bit, you know, a quarter wavelength above the um, the 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 top face. It's kind of what it's looking like. So we need a new polygon. Um, um, it's kind of kind of traditional to show ravinement, you know, type one boundaries in uh, red. Uh, but okay, what the heck? You want a bright green or a dark green? Like lawn green? Let's let's see if that works. Uh, okay, so that's going to be SB two um, type one. And let me start. And I got to be careful and then follow what I think is the the top of the sequence, you know, down to stay, you know, just above the um, the top. Oop, and that didn't work. So I got to remove that. Like right through there. And right, so I got to stay. I got to stay. Um, you know, keep to the picks I interpreted. And it's definitely a hypothesis that that this is all one sequence in here. You know, one that I either have to defend or or uh, or get rid of. You know, test it. Doesn't work. Get rid of it. Now, now we will be we will be very happy if you pick alternative hypotheses, and and if you're having an argument like this, bring that yeah, bring that discussion next week. You know, and and uh, you know maybe maybe you want to pick both possibilities as alternatives and turn them on or off. You know. All right. So we should go back, go back and change the scale, the color number, and push out the further in so you see the brighter reflection. Don't you think that's the top left instead of there? I mean, the upper boundary. So now I have, um, I have uh, interpreted one sequence, um, and uh, you know, 
so I have, uh, uh, it's a hypothesis to, uh, to test and examine and debate. <clears throat> you know, any detail, you know, could be up for discussion. Um, so I, I uh, okay, I'll preserve this again by saving everything. And um, make sure the pics are all saved. Um, I'll save the session. <clears throat> All right. Um, I'll even set this as the home view for now. Save home position over here on the left. Um, so I can go back to that just by clicking home. No, I guess not. <laughs> um, all right. So the uh, uh, let's see. Um, uh, let's let's get some some products out of this. So um, I'm going to take a picture with this uh, 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 1990s SLR here. Um, we're going to get the whole, the whole scene. We don't need more than that. We don't need to know, you know, the names of the tree. If, you, if I pick window, that would probably uh, get the tree as well into the image. Uh, and I will um, just take what it, what it suggests. Oh, yeah. All right. You've got to give it a, got to give everything a file name. Um, And I'll put it somewhere. That's it. I'm not going to put it in OD data. Um, OK. All right. <clears throat> so. Um, We've got that. And um, uh, let's see. Do I want to export anything? Uh, OK. Let's see what it says. I probably have to, you probably have to export one at a time. Um, yeah. Uh, let's see. Can I ex can I select multiple? So you're exporting these no. Things. Like when you save your session, does it include everything that you yes done, including all of these things? And then so long as you so long as down here on the pick sets, huh? see see how I'm pointing to pick set mm -hmm. in the tree. I I say. Um, Getting it. Uh, right click. Um, I haven't made any changes, so it's not it's not giving the option to save. Uh, no, save changes. There it is. So I've got to save changes there, and I've got to save changes to the polygons. Okay, and I save the session. That I'd say those three actions guarantee that that I've got everything. And then the, the the view the the picture is just you know just for kicks. Um, the um, <clears throat> let's see, you can you know like for uh, uh, putting a uh, your section on a poster. Um, if I point at the random line, and I. Um, and I go to display. No. 
Uh, hmm. Save as two D. There's a way. There's a way to take any any um, any section that you've got, or 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 yeah, horizontal or vertical section, and and plot it in two D. Um, which would be the way you want to do it to to say print your poster. Let's see. Let's look at the Z slice. So I'll select one of them. Let's see. Maybe down here. Ah, uh, yeah. So if I go all the way down to one particular section and and one particular um, one particular uh, line, I can say you know one particular data set. I can plot it in a 2D viewer. I can even plot it in wiggle trace if I, if you know, if your boss was born before um, uh, 1965, you might want to see wiggle trace. One thing, so I just kind of went through the motions and I tried to save it through the camera, just to see. And it's making me XPM really just exported JPEG or something. Oh yeah, that would be so much better, right? Yeah. Um, let's see. Notice that this two D viewer has its own has its own um, stuff. It's got its own controls. Uh, so, is there no way? Um, Notice it does not even have a 2D horizon. Yeah, it doesn't show my polygon. Interesting. This shows it shows my um, my uh, uh, my terminations at least. Some of them, I'm not sure. Yeah, what is that? Remove selection. Polygon selection mode, tracking setup. Oh, you can track in this. Uh, yeah, I don't see a print function in here. You may expand your window. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. I got too way too small a screen size here. Right. So, uh, all right. Tutorial two, um, random line. Uh, and that's coming out as PNG. Yeah. So that should that should work. Uh, no, I'm I'm I'm. Notice on the two D section, it's got its own set of controls, mm -hmm. and there's a uh, well, yeah, there's both a uh, uh, a camera and a print on that one. Um, so I'm gonna say that's all right. Uh, let me see what the print will do. Maybe I can get a PDF. That would be ideal for the posters. Oh yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So here it depends on what printers you have installed, and if you have a, a PDF printer, you know where you can save as a PDF, then uh, that's what you'll get. It, you know, we'll have to see whether those are are you know have have any decent quality or not. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, um, uh, okay, one last thing. Let me show you where, you know, short of exporting all this stuff, let me show you where you can find it. All right. 
So if we just go to our OD data folder, <clears throat> and um, there are, let's see, uh, in export there's nothing yet because I didn't export anything. Um, geometry, no. Um, I'll organize it by date modified. So there's, um, okay, seismics, nothing in there. It must be in locations. Yep, there they are. There's our, there's our, uh, our, uh, our two polygons, our, um, and our four uh, pick sets. And uh, let's see, I think they're, again, they're just text. Um, yep, and they're in, um, you know, they're in some kind of, um, you know, European uh, 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 um, UTM. You know, they're going to be whatever, whatever the datum and the coordinate system for this, for this data set is. They're, as you can see, given to. A ridiculous amount of accuracy, right? I mean, I, I, I would accept. Uh, um, I wouldn't accept anything after the decimal point. That's for sure, unless it's a time. Yeah, maybe those times in seconds. I would accept the first, uh, the first three after the decimal point. Say that I have a file that I saved, text file that I think are the winning selection. Just take that text file, dump it into a folder, and access it by adding uh, a pick set model in R three. Is that how you put it? Um, you yeah, you can import. Um, you know, so I could I could send this. Uh, I could send you know, say my downlap picks here to you, um, and uh, uh, you would have you would just you know create a text file. Uh, that uh, that had just had this in it, okay, and and make sure it's a you know pure text file, no uh, you know no word annotations or rich text or anything like that. And then I think uh, if we go to um, import, uh, we can import. Um, Pick sets or polygons in ASCII format, and so we go and find the uh, uh, the file that that you know you got emailed, say, and I mean here I haven't done anything other than, than put them put them in uh, in here and leave them in you know where they are, and I'll uh, I'll just try to bring them in again. Um, so uh, get z values from input file. Yep, and uh, uh, hmm. let's see. Yeah, you have to tell it that it's it's got its. Yeah, it does have a it does have a header. So you know there is a there is a way to. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, line. Yeah, and I think ours are x, y, z in milliseconds. So I have to pick that. Um, and the output. And then you have to define the output pick set. And so this is going to be off lap imported. Um, you know, not the same. And uh, we're gonna imp we're gonna bring them in as picks, not as a polygon. And let's see what happened. Okay, so we're gonna we're not gonna do any more. And there should be two of there should be a new pick set. So I'm gonna turn off uh, off lap. And actually, to see it, I'll I'll turn off the polygons. So let's see. Where is that offline? Okay, that's just those, those 
two there, I think. Okay, so I'll turn them off, and I'll and now I have to add that pick set, that imported pick set. Doesn't it? Notice it didn't did not appear automatically. I got to pick it, and I got to bring it in. And did it come back? I I can't see it. Let's see. No, look at that. Okay, so I didn't I didn't give it the right specification. Okay. So so when you maybe that's the advantage. You know, we could we could um, um, yeah. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna just get rid of this. Um, remove from tree. Okay. Turn on the the off lap. All right. Or I could restore my session. So so. Um, uh, it's a little tricky to import one saved in the format that that's automatically saved. Is that because we just gave it a tag and it's like a wrong spatial tag? Yeah, yeah, we didn't get the format right. So that that is it does make it a little bit easier perhaps to export it, and then it'll be easier to to import it because you have you know you can tell it how you want it exported, and then when you bring it in, you'll know you'll know the format. Uh, we could probably figure it out, but I I, I want to go home. So. You could also take point uh, per file, whatever file, open a text file that's cut and paste that whatever the list of X Y Z. Cut that text now and put it into your already made pick file, right? If you're correctly editing. Yeah, file, and then it would probably be best if you're going to run a trick like that. You know, where, where something you're changing something that's. And you're not changing it with open to text, you're changing it with a text editor. Yeah. I would probably, you know, remove it. I would remove it from the tree. Yeah. And and then after I edited it, I would I would bring it back in. Yeah. You know, as a as a um, as a, I would add it again. To force it to go and read the file. Yeah. I hope. You know. That's probably not the best practice. It's probably better to just export it. But you know, that's you have to do that every single one by hand, which is kind of a pain. Uh, let's see. Can we? No, we can't. We can't select multiple on the tree. That makes sense. Okay, so I should have everything saved. I can just quit open detect. And I should stop.